I still think that tightening in, in rates is going to be extremely damaging. Um, I still think it's it's inappropriate. Yes, it's very, it's very hard for savers. Whatever you hide in, it, you're into a negative, you're into a negative return, so to speak. Um, but I just I just don't think that ramping up interest rates is going to fix the inflation problem anytime soon. And I think we're starting to see evidence in U.S. earnings, what's been reported this week amongst you know, retail stocks, that actually ramping up rates is starting to affect consumer demand. So I think I think we are heading for a recession scenario. I think the irony is that that probably will fix um, inflation, but it won't be you know, the rates directly. It will be the fact that people just can't afford anything. Um, and, and actually rates going up, mortgage rates in particular in the US, that's, that's very sensitive in terms of mortgage applications, has profound implications for the state of the economy. So I think, I think we're on the, on the cusp of a recession scenario being created here by overzealous central banks who feel they have no other choice but to raise rates to deal with a, a supply problem. So I, I suspect the central banks are, are praying that there will be an inflation print coming that is a little bit easier. And, and I think actually this will give the market a lot of relief. You know, we had that CPI last week in the US where it was 8.3%. That was a little bit less. Um, but actually, if we see some more profound easing in inflation, I think that will change the dynamic. At the moment, there's we're just not seeing the evidence yet in the headline numbers. But actually, if you if you dig down, you, know, you, you can see used cars, um, used cars, new cars as well. Prices are starting to ease. Semiconductors are beginning to flow. Um, so there's evidence that things will get easier. But it's just a very painful period at the moment. The central banks feel they have to um, be very, very zealous around raising interest rates to deal with this inflation problem. Um, ironically, as I say, you know, we'll, if we get a recession, we'll end up back in a scenario where we have low rates and low inflation. Uh, and actually, I think things like long duration yeah. stocks, technology stocks will be able to find a footing again. Julian, there is. Oh, come on, my friend. Can we not agree that negative real rates between seven and eight percent negative, the biggest levels you and I have ever seen in our lifetimes? And, and I'm a, a much older man than you. You keep calling that overzealous. You use the word zealous twice. There is nothing zealous about negative 8% interest rates. I've got a sneaky feeling you're talking about this from a stocks point of view rather than the economic point of view. Well, I mean, from a stocks point of view, if you look at, if you look at facts like the equity, equity risk premium, that's something we, we look at very, very carefully, that the relationship between the earnings yield and the actual risk-free rate. Um, so stocks, actually, they're not particularly attractive at the moment. The, the risk-free rate uh, has has not really come down. As you can see, the 10-year yield is actually now, I'm just looking at my screen, 2.9%. So it's true that stocks aren't a bargain, but I think the, the equity earnings yield is still better than that risk-free rate. The forward equity earnings yield is still better than that risk-free rate. So I think stocks are still interesting. I don't think it's the time to capitulate, but they're certainly not a screaming buy. I think for the screaming buy, you know, we've got to see yields come down significantly from this point. So we've seen PE ratios come down, forward PE ratios have improved, so valuation has improved, but not that relative relationship with, you know, what can I get without taking any nominal risk, shall we say. Um, so I, I think stocks are, stocks are fine. They're not brilliant at the moment, but, but it's not time to capitulate. But I think if, if we do get into a recession scenario and the central banks will have to switch from focusing on inflation um, back to actually rescuing the economy, then I think there's an opportunity there for yields to come down. Uh, and ironically, I think stocks will get much more attractive at that point. But we've got to get the policy error first um, before we can actually sort of see stocks becoming a, a more enticing relative to risk-free rates.